Robert Heffernan. Hold on. With Endotech. Whoa, a little technology glitch there. I'm a master endotechnician, formerly in the Matrix. Uh, this is Blockchain Vitals. It's a midday segment. Midday. Uh, not able to stream last night. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, but uh, here I am, chipper and uh, ready to roll. And so let's uh, let's do the rounds. Doing the rounds, uh, we do it every day, every chance I get, talking about things in the news. Relatively slow news day. Uh, crypto's pulling back a little bit here, uh, as can be expected when you run into uh, weekly fractals, as we've talked about over the past couple of days. And uh, the market acting as expected is from my point of view. Uh, coming into the holidays, it'll be uh, interesting to see how uh, these things react uh, during uh, Christmas and New Year's, especially the couple days around uh, those two holidays. Um, but cryptos never sleep, right? They trade 24-7, 365 days a year, including Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Day. They're always trading, right? And uh, you need to have uh, actionable trading information at your fingertips if you're at the con uh, to be a successful trader in these things. Um, you know what I want to do, though, here? Uh, is, you know, since it's relatively slow and it's the most wonderful time of the year, uh, let's bring out the latest prop bet. Prop bet, uh, this is a little Twitter poll. It'll be up for the next two days. And it's the new prop bet on which happens first. Uh, and I, this was directed at John Mack if he hasn't come back to me yet. Uh, you know, he's a busy guy. He's going to be running for president. But anybody, it was his uh, Bitcoin call to 15,000 that spurred the original bet. Because I, you know, when he made that call, I believe it was in uh, August, uh, near the beginning of the NFL football season, and it was going to be a, a giant rally, right? The, the Bitcoin was trading around seven or 8,000, and he, he thought it would trade to 15,000 within a couple of weeks. Like there was going to be a big spike. And I thought, looking at the charts, man, there's no chance that's happened. In fact, the Bears got a better chance of winning 10 games this season than Bitcoin does. Forget about the next two weeks. The rest of the year trading 15,000. So that was the first bet. Bears 10 wins or Bitcoin 15,000. Bears, say it with me now. Bears, Bears win it. And uh, to a lot of people's surprises on both sides of it, the Bitcoin didn't catch the Bears gets the rally, and uh, that the fact that uh, the Bears won 10 games. Well, now uh, we're pushing a new prop bet out there, and this one's interesting, and it's pretty close here. Uh, a lot of people think the Bears can win the Super Bowl before a Bitcoin trades 10,000. All right, so uh, with that Bear D, you cannot, you cannot uh, dissuade me from my opinion that defenses win championships and the Bears have the best defense in the league. Anyway, that's the prop bet. Bears win the Super Bowl or Bitcoin trades 10,000. Now, I've lowered this down because, you know, the, the weekly fractal tells us that around there, around there is, is the potential on the weekly chart uh, right now or right now. Fair market value or fair market potential, Tom Lee. Fair market potential as far as I'm concerned. And the fair market value, you know, we can talk that. And why don't we talk pricing uh, so let's, uh, let's take the vitals. Taking the vitals. And, uh, as I said before, we are going to cover, uh, XRP all this week. XRP trading now 36.29. I'm in it. Didn't quite get to that weekly number that I was looking for to take some, uh, profits at 42.12. The week's not over for sure as we trade tomorrow. Uh, and Sunday, the weekends are open. The win you know, we used to say in the trading pit, the windows are open. And let me explain, because it goes back to this prop bet. You get in the pit, the bell would ring. There'd be a bunch of trading going on, you know, buying and selling, whatever commodity you're with. And then as the market slowed down and there wasn't any really transactional things going on, a few people here or there bidding and offering, not much going on. 
and you wanted more action, you'd say, all right, the windows are open, meaning let's start talking about prop bets or, or you know, bets on NFL, college football, NBA, NHL. The windows are open. Let's make a bet because there's nothing going on in the market to bet on. So, uh, you know, how many cheeseburgers can Jimmy eat? Those type of prop bets flourished on the trading floor. But anyway, for me now, uh, 36, 20 last in XRP, and now five or six days in a row in up momentum, and we want to see it hold this momentum level, 35.04. If uh, they, they close below 35.04, you have to start reevaluating. And for me, it's pretty easy. A close below value, uh, I, I, you know, that's the shot across the bow, and I am looking at that day's low for me to for sure be out of whatever I might be long or short uh, on a momentum modeling. And I'm still looking for strength to go test this weekly level at uh, 42.12. Uh, the, the chart's pretty cut and dry for me right here, and uh, that's how I'm seeing it. All right, so uh, listen, I'm going to say goodbye to the YouTube crowd, and uh, if, if you want to catch all of the actionable trading information, please uh, check out endotech.io, get a subscription, and you get to watch the whole segment live when it happens. All right, see you later, YouTube.